Welcome back to John's Films. Today we're taking a look at two common problems that occur with media and storage in DaVinci Resolve. The first is one I'm sure you've seen. It's when your media tells you it is offline. You say, what, what happened? What went wrong? Well, DaVinci Resolve, when you load media into the media pool, expects that you're going to keep it where it is. If you, say, are running short on drive space and you move that folder, well, you're going to lose that linkage. DaVinci Resolve does not know where you moved it. And that's what we're going to tell it right now by highlighting all of the clips in the media pool that are red, right-clicking, and at the very bottom, there's something that says Relink Selected Clips. So as I choose that, I come up and I see this is the folder where it originally existed. It's my project drive, but it was filling up. And so I actually copied the entire folder up into my TrueNAS server. And here it is. Luckily, DaVinci Resolve can map drives across the network. I select the folder, the Creative 360 Studio, and now you'll notice as I relinked it, Resolve looked at the folder and said, ah, you're right, they're all here. Okay, cool, we're ready to roll. And now, if I were to play back any of this footage, it would start to pick it up. Hey, wait, but it didn't, John. What's going on? Ah, notice this folder. Ha, there's more. There is more footage I need to go relink. And so I right click on that, choose relink selected clips. And now it knows like, oh, you probably want me to go over here. And the answer is, yep, that's right. So to recap, right click on any of the red files, choose relink selected media, browse to where that media is, even if it's across the network, and you'll be able to get cranking again, just like I've done here. The second problem that we often run into is one of disk space. So if I hit Windows in the E key and I pop up to my disk, you can see I can right click and choose properties. This shows me how much space is left on my drive. Woo, this one's actually quite tight. There's a major problem with that, and that's that Windows needs a little bit of work in space. You imagine you're not able to live in your house if you filled it floor to ceiling with junk. You, you physically can't go in there. And if you've only left a little bit of space, every time you want to do something, you've got to rearrange the whole house because you don't have enough space to move files around. So running this close, you need to leave about 20% of the total drive free. So I should have about 180 gigabytes free instead of got 43. How can I deal with that? Well, in Windows, I can use disk cleanup, but this is gonna be pretty ineffective. Beyond that, I need to know, okay, how much of this is related to DaVinci Resolve? There is a program called WinderStat. You can see it is a free open source download, WinderStat, the link will be below, and it will allow you to scan a drive. While WinderStat does its job, I'm going to check one very important folder, and it's the folder that creates and stores all of the cache that we use here in our timeline. You'll notice right now I have a blue bar right over where my playhead is. That blue bar indicates that I've pre-rendered some of this work because I've run over it, and I've saved that so that I don't have to do it again. I save it in a folder called the cache clip folder. You can see where that is by hitting shift and nine on Windows or command nine on Mac, and scroll into the very bottom of this here project settings, master settings, timeline format here. You'll notice I keep it in E cache clip. I can hit browse and it'll show me where that is. If I back out, you'll notice the whole drive is called scratch. This is one of my best practices. Everything I put on this drive is not important. Yes, I use it. In fact, this drive gets chewed up like crazy. But if I wanted to come in and format this drive on any random day, I've got zero compunction about that because I know everything stored here is cache. If, however, you've already cleaned that out and you still have problems, that's where WinDurstat comes in. Again, free download, pretty handy. As I ran the scan on the C drive, I can now see exactly where all my storage is going. See this big block? The larger the block, the more space it is taking up on my hard drive. And this one is 80 gigabytes worth of VFX assets. As the bottom, you can see where these things are. Here you can see it's my OneDrive folder, and this happens to be my picture library with Lightroom. So that's a very large library of 50 megabyte images over and over again. What else do we have here? Now here's an example I downloaded. I was working in Unreal Engine and I downloaded a very large project. And here you can see it's taken up a ton of space. So maybe I wanna delete that. In fact, I do. So I'm gonna come and I realize that if I delete this, the whole project is actually pretty ineffective. So I right click on that and I'll go to delete, no way to undelete. 
Now that we've got that deleted, it still shows up here in my graph. Oh, that's not great, right? Well, watch this. I can click anywhere in the graph and then refresh just that selected section of the tree. So it's now going through just that selected section, which should be pretty quick, and realizing what's left. How much do I have left in here? I had a whole bunch and I deleted about half of that folder. So now I've got it updated. If I'd like to see how much space I actually have, I can click on options or I can use the hotkey F6. And now it's going to redraw the graph, but there's a big gray spot that represents all of the free space I have on the drive. It's a good visual representation. If this has been helpful to you and you've learned a bit, please, hey, hit like for me and consider subscribing. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Have a great day.